our viewers want to start businesses, they have an idea and they're not sure whether they should do it, if they can do it. Take me a little bit through your journey. Uh, let's say it was, it was definitely bumpy in the beginning. Uh, you know, we can sit here now and, and all say how, you know, Daily Candy is wildly successful and, and I'm so proud of it. And um, the early days were really kind of roll up your sleeves and, and get dirty. Um, I basically thought to myself every step of the way, where is there a void in the market and how can I do it, you know, do this, this concept better than anyone would ever hope for. So I, you know, in the, in the first couple of years, I really did most everything myself. So I tried to be really, really clear in the beginning about what we were and what we were not. You know, so it's really, I think in the beginning, it's important to be really, really sort of practical and very, very sort of very sober thinking um, and be really focused on what you're trying to achieve. Um, and then I think part of what made Daily Candy so successful is I was very aware of what I didn't know. So going back to this idea that I did it all myself, I really didn't do it all myself. Um, I knew that, for example, I knew editorial and I knew marketing. I had no concept of, or very little concept of technology or business. And so I soon found people that I could surround myself with that were really complementary to my skills. And I think that that's what's made Daily Candy such a hit. Mm -hmm.